Ken in Michigan writes to me and he says, we just had a recent storm and during that storm, two out of my JL subs started emitting noise and they need to be repaired now. Yikes, I'm sorry about that. I have four of these subs. Yee! <laughs> I love it. The front subs were plugged into the re uh, uh, were plugged into a Nagra 7000. That's AudioQuest's uh, passive power conditioner, and were undamaged. However, the rear was plugged into the same dedicated line, but without the Niagara benefit. Did the rear subs get damaged by the AC, or did the XLR signal cause the damage? I would say it got damaged by the AC. I mean, obviously I wasn't there, and so I don't know. But any sub worth its salt, and I'm sure those are, is not going to be damaged by a sudden burst of energy coming down its input. That, I mean, you should be able to slam that input with pretty much anything you want and have no problem. Any sub that we would design would certainly have that feature, and I'm sure the subs you have that's the same. The surges that come through the power lines can be pretty bad. And the Nagra, like our power plants or any decent power product, has MOVs or uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to surge protect. Let's, let's just call them MOVs, metal oxide varistors, which for those of you that don't know, here we go. All right. What's an MOV? So um, it, it's metal oxide varistor, right? That means that basically here's a device that is a clamp. So it's a little round guy and they have big ones and small ones and you can set them for different voltages, but it sits across the line, the power line. And if a voltage, depending on its rating, comes through that's really high, it is high enough to trigger this device to conduct. And when it conducts, it just pulls the line like you're shorting out, just, you know, you don't want to do this. <laughs> Take a, a, a fork and plug it into your 110 volt line. It'll boom, it'll kick the circuit breaker off, right? Because it just makes a short circuit across that. Any high voltage coming through gets squashed because you have, it's like you've just clamped this thing shut. Uh, and if it's big enough, then it won't hurt the MOV. It clicks the circuit breaker off, life's good, and you're protected. That, that's how those surge protectors work. And any decent surge protected uh, power product would handle that nicely. The fact that you had them plugged directly into the wall and you had that big storm, I'm sure that is what caused the problem. And I'm sorry about that. So hopefully they can get it repaired, back up and running. All right. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Bye.